The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Dell in Texas. Hey, Dell, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Call. Great. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. I love your show. I just stumbled upon it probably, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And how did you find us? I found you on YouTube. YouTube. That's a beautiful thing. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us. Welcome to the Tiger family, man. Wow. I like it. Totally. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, a safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, use your imagination, and explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 40, NASDAQ off 40, S&P's down 7, gold contract down $1.30, trading at 1,297 an ounce, silver down 13 cents at $17.47 an ounce. Platinum off two bucks at 9.68 an ounce. Copper flat at 2.08 a pound. Light sweet crude up a buck 80, $48 and one penny a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note down 12 ticks, 138, 131.28. 30 year bond down 29 ticks, 169.09. Both the notes and the bonds folks, Pulling back with light volume. They both went topside this week. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. They both want higher price, lower yields. King dollar. King dollar just can't handle higher price. Down 411 ticks, trading out at 94.29. The euro is up 53 at $1.12. And the yen is flat at 104. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wonder what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, we had a deviant market, no doubt. You get ABC structures down all over the place. You're going to have them down on the dailies, down on the weeklies, down on all of the above. On the SPY right now, what you have is this. SPY's done 91 million shares. You're trading at uh, 206.77. That's on its way down to the 204 to 202 level, which is the swing low from the 19th of May. NDX 100, the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Three Qs are down a buck 18. Also with big juice, big volume. All you know, they basically blew away its B point. Did it with volume. Um, we're at 106.57 right now on the Qs. They're on their way down to the 105 to 104 level, which is also the swing point from the 19th of May. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract's going to be finishing at its highs for the week, folks. Uh, we're at 1297 right now. Gold hit a price point of 1318 yesterday. Gives it up on price. Comes back down to 1280. Swana goes from 1278 all the way back up to uh, 1297, and you get the volume behind the move. Uh, yesterday, uh, well, you talk about volume behind the move. Uh, big volume yesterday. We did uh, 354. Thousand contracts yesterday, you're at 194,000 contracts today. You're going to finish at these highs, and what that sets up, that sets up higher prices in the market. Uh, we have been in this consolidation, um, and it's a high-end consolidation since February 11th. 1428 is the next number on the in the gold market. That's where that baby wants to run into. Notes. Let's go to the note market. So, what do we have with notes? Ten-year note. Uh, out here today, you went higher yesterday, and we had, I think it was 1.6 million. We did 1.5 million contracts. Got to a price point of 132.22. Today, you back down with a million contracts. That's setting up another ABC structure on the way up. It's pretty amazing. Uh, bottom line, notes, bonds want higher price. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 1.6. If we go over to the 30-year and we take a look at the 30-year, what you're going to see inside the 30-year is the same type of setup. Uh, the 30-year is down almost a point. Yesterday, we reached a high 
of 17107. We did 300,000, 316,000 contracts. Today, you're backing down with 178,000 contracts. They both want higher price. And free money is the name of the game, folks. Bottom line, the Fed can't go up on rates. Why? Because the whole rest of the world uh, have rates that are so dramatically low. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? King dollar also can't handle higher price. When we take a look at King dollar, what you have is this. Uh, King dollar had a nice bid yesterday. Uh, had volume behind the move, never made the swing point. Uh, King dollar had made it up to a price point of 95 dollars and 53 cents. We did 40,000 contracts, which is a good number on the way up. Never made the swing though. The, 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 the downdraft uh, was 95.64. What ends up happening? Gives it up on price. What do we do today? You're, you're going down, you get 22,000 contracts. Your first swing low out here that I expect we're gonna go after is the 93.38, which was the swing low from the uh, 8th of June. The Bigger issue is the May 3rd swing low. That's where this baby's going. That's 92. I suspect what we're actually going to see here, the way that the commodities are trading and the way that the market is trading, is that we're going to be down to the 88 level uh, in good old King Dollar. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at the market as a whole, what you're going to see out here today, you're going to have monster volume. We get uh, quad witching out here today, option expiration. We're already at 820 million on the NYSE. That's going to come in at about 1.5 billion. We take a look at the NASDAQ composite. What do you have with the composite? We're already at 1.5 billion. That's going to come in at probably a 2.4 billion. So what are you going to have? You're going to have lower prices, higher volume. And what does that say? That says, see ya, don't want to be ya. We go over to the DAX. We take a look at the DAX in Germany. Why the DAX in Germany? Because the DAX in Germany, baby, is leading the whole baby all the way down. DAX in Germany right now is at 9,630. Uh, that is going after its swing lows from February. That swing low, the high of that swing low is 88.99. And if you go back into our own S&Ps, if you want to see how far off the, those lows we are, we're way off those lows, folks, but that's where this market wants to head to. We're at 2073 right now in the cash S&P, and when you're talking about those February lows, the high of that low is 1847, the low is 1810, and I expect what you're going to see, uh, first we're going to go into the swing point from the 19th of May, that swing point is uh, 20. 25, and uh, we'll see how uh, it, it breaks down. Once you break that area, there's not much uh, holding it up uh, until the very bottom. And the reason being, of course, is that when we went topside, starting in February, it was a one-way trip all the way up, February up until April, and then we had that sideways consolidation. As the market tried to get up and over uh, those highs, it failed to get up over and over those highs. Can't bust them up, guess what? You're gonna go bust them down. Uh, Apple. Apple uh, is, a, is one of the culprits out here today, and it's not that Apple is down a lot, folks. Apple's only down $1.90, uh, but what you do have, you have an expansion of volume. Apple's going to be going after its swing point from May 12th. That swing point is uh, $89.47. You're trading at $95.62. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. A lot of option action coming into the close, monster volume, lower prices. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE -E or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 56. You get the NASDAQ off 46. S&Ps are down 9. Percentage-wise, what we have out here is this. You have the Dow Industrials down 3 tenths of 1%. The S&Ps are down 2 tenths. NASDAQ is the one that's taking a hit. NASDAQ is down 9 tenths of 1%. If we go inside the NDX first and see uh, what you have here, the strength versus the weakness, what you'll see is this, is that the uh, the weakness uh, is C-Trip, that is down 4.4%. Uh, Vertex Pharmaceutical is off 37 uh, linear Technologies is down 3.4, and INCY is off 3.3. Inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have? Strength versus the weakness. Uh, the strength uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials is Caterpillar. That's up 1%. Uh, weakness is Merck. That's down 2.8%. That was up 2% yesterday. Uh, Apple is down 2%. Uh, that's going to continue to uh, weigh on the indices. You have Visa down one percent 6% and Pfizer is off 1.2%. Uh, if we go over to Google, folks, and you take a look at Google, Google uh, is uh, an equity that uh, bottom line has been ruling the world for quite some time. And uh, guess what? Things are changing. Uh, Google's down 19 bucks today, monster volume. Google, we're at 691. Google has a high volume swing low at 663. Now, the heads up on Google goes like this. You know, we're, we're talking about the S&P is going to the February swing low. Uh, Google's February high of the swing low is 684. We already made 688 today with monster volume, by the way. Uh, what the Google had done, when it bounced in February, it went from $663 up to $769. So you had $106 move topside with dramatically lighter volume. If you want to see the correlation, it's pretty intense. You bounce on 2 million shares, and the 2 million shares, folks, was going against 6 million. So bottom line, no one was in the store. They're buying the product, and what happens? They get toasted and roasted. Uh, what Google's doing today is that Google's taking out the 689 price point. We had uh, 2.4 million shares there. We've already done 2.7 million. So Google's on its way down to those lower prices. You know, we've talked about this before. What has happened is that Google versus Facebook. Let's go over to Facebook just for a second. We go over to Facebook. We take a look at Facebook. Facebook's only down a buck fifty. You're trading at $112. If we put this back, we take a look at it. You know, bottom line is that yeah, Facebook has been a rocket ship, uh, but guess what? It has volume uh, all the way up to like 117, and we're at 112. 
what the fundamental difference is and us, uh, TFNN, as a company, we, we've talked about this before. If you listen to my son and I uh, in the 10 o'clock in the morning show, um, for about a year and a half now, search results on Google versus Facebook, folks, are pretty dramatic. Uh, the difference being is that we used to spend a lot of money on Google, and what ended up happening is that between click frauds and all of that, bottom line, we stop spending money on Google. Start spending it on Facebook. Guess what? Facebook, dramatically different. You can see the difference on a continual basis, and I suspect what's happening on a fundamental basis is Facebook is taking a huge amount of Google's business because you can segment it down. Uh, there's things that you can do on Facebook that you cannot do. At least uh, we couldn't do it when we were doing it uh, on Google. So uh, that business is getting hammered, and you know it's not like Google's going to go away, but guess what? They got big problems. Um, their problems are Facebook. That's what, you know, that's a whole ecosystem into itself. There's no doubt about that. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And you're talking about whole ecosystem. Let's go over and take a look at Amazon. So uh, Amazon today, now this is what you have. And this is, a, this is a heads up in itself. Amazon's down 17 bucks. That's not a lot. We're talking a $700, $700 stock. What you do have, though, is this. You have an expansion of volume. So, well, so thus far, it's 3.2 million shares. That's after trying to make a high with 2.7. That is saying that Amazon's going to start making its way back to 669, and we'll see uh, if it breaks that area and then fills the gap. There's a gap. There's a few gaps on Amazon, but the next one will be down there at 626. So what I do expect you're going to see is that that baby's going to get filled. We go over to the uh, XLF, the financials, and the financials have been struggling. Uh, what do you have with the financials? The XLF is on an a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. It took out its B point, took it out with volume. The B point we're talking about was on Wednesday at volume of 54 million. We blew that away yesterday with 58 million. Uh, you're trading, uh, it's subtle. You're only down 14 cents, but that's enough, folks. And what does the financials have? The financials have also that high volume swing low laying out here at February 11th, which is $19.53 is the low, 1988 is the high. The, uh, some of the other Dow stocks that we're you're looking at out here go like this. So next week, folks, you know, we're in summer trading, and normally in summer trading, what you have is that Mondays and Fridays are normally slow. Well, what we're gonna have, I suspect, next week, you know, today's certainly not slow. Today is uh, quad witching, huge volume, Big volatility, all of the above. Monday, the, one of the main reasons I expect you're going to have the same type of volatility, we'll see whether you get the volume, is because of the Britain vote. Uh, Britain is going to be voting on Thursday. The results are going to be, we'll get the results at 5 o'clock Eastern time Thursday night. So what you can expect is that trades are going to be lining up all starting Monday or Sunday night, folks, and next week you can expect some high volatility. So what you do have is that Monday and Friday next week, you can expect the whole week to have a highly volatile week, um, and that's going to be whether Britain stays in the European Union or goes. You know, personally, I don't think it's going to make a difference whether they stay or go, meaning if they even go, it's all going to be the same. But the market's perception is uh, things are moving around. You know, you, you hear analysts say that, well, the bonds are going up because of uh, uh, Britain leaving the European Union. The, the bonds have been going up since 1980, folks, okay? Uh, <laughs> the, bond, the bonds just will not stop. And when you take a look at, uh, technically, they don't want to stop. Fundamentally, uh, it's a lot easier to really understand. Our 10-year bond right now is at 1.6. You go to Germany, and it's, it's 17 hundredths of one. That's a 10-year bond, so it's almost negative. You go to France, and it's four-tenths of 1%. So just to cut to the chase, it's real easy. You're in France, you're in Germany, you're in Italy, you're in Spain, no matter where you are. As they put their money in the bank, guess what ends up happening? That money goes in the bank. The money gets transferred where? It gets transferred right into the U.S. bond market. Bottom line, it's a riskless trade, and the duration, and this is where this gets really cool, folks. Most of the time, if you make a trade 
that you're, you've heard many times, a carry trade. Well, a carry trade, folks, doesn't have duration. It has duration risk. This duration will be time risk, okay? In this particular case, when we're talking about that trade, that is not a uh, duration risk. The reason being, I'm giving you the exact 10-year notes in France, Germany, or Italy versus our 10-year note. So you're doing the same time duration, except that guess what? You're making the money on the spreads with two sovereign countries. Uh, bottom line, that is one of the main reasons that the Fed can't go where anywhere uh, with raising rates. The reason being is that there's more demand than there is supply. And then on top of that, we are actually putting out less bonds, less notes, so once we put that together, guess what? We're going to be in a low-rate environment for a long period of time. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities, and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, a periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we have the uh, Dow down 55, NASDAQ's off 44, S&Ps are off 8.5. Uh, Let's go to Kevin in Orlando. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Happy TGI Friday. That's a beautiful thing, man. Totally. How you doing? Yeah, doing good. Yeah, the town's doing a lot of healing up here and it's uh yeah it's nice just to see the way this community has come together and really united up here it's, uh yeah that's awesome man that, you know you know it's so crazy man i mean orlando i mean you had that first you had the youtuber get shot then they had the massacre yeah. and then that poor little b guy got eaten by an alligator man uh, I, I know it's just unbelievable i live about 
I don't know, a quarter of a mile from that theater and maybe a mile from the uh, the nightclub. So yeah. It's just, uh, you know, when it, when, it, when it happens in your in your community, it just really takes a whole different meaning, you know, to when these unfortunate situations happen. Oh, so. there's no doubt, man. That's, that's about it. We, we appreciate you guys sending out the Tigers off, sending out white light to us. I know you guys. Oh, always, there's, uh, there's, there's no doubt, man. Week, it's... So. We, we appreciate that. I, I got two quick questions for you. The first one is, I didn't get to hear the beginning of the show, uh, with oil today. I know you've, we, we've, you, you, you're bearish on oil. Is this a dead cat bounce here, or is there? Well, this is what happened. So, uh, you know, I mean, it closed over the high of yesterday, uh, but nothing behind it. So, you right. know, we came down yesterday with 508,000 contracts. You know, yeah. you're up today in 200. So, yeah, can it go to 48? 80 yeah probably can that's the low where i'm going with that folks that's the low of june 10th you know but you know we'll see whether it can pierce it but that's the way it seems to be set up right now you know it, was, and, and, it, it, it certainly you know you talk about volatility man that's about uh, <laughs> oil's down uh, you know a buck 90 yesterday and up a uh, buck 94 today that's a big number for oil no doubt well in a stock that i always have had pretty Good success. Anytime there's a, a bounce in rig, yeah. I always then short it, and that thing comes back so quickly, even harder and more than it than it went up. It's got a huge short interest, so you got to really be careful with it. And it's up pretty big today, and I just didn't know if there was enough volume in uh, in, in the stock today on the uh, on the uptick. Look at this. There. This is pretty interesting. So you get Transocean, folks, uh, RIG. Uh, it's trading at $11.29. The low for the year is $7.60. The high is 18 And as Kevin just said, the shot interest is 25%, which is yeah. just wild. So, you know, what I would do with this, I wouldn't shot it just yet. I mean, it looks like this wants to test thirteen forty eight. you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, it's going to have to get over the, the top of the consolidation at 11.65, but that's how that's set up. That's an amazing number of shot interest, man. When, when <laughs> well, you know, those the, the, those oil rig stocks have, uh, you know, a lot of them have the high short interest on it. But yeah, yeah that's why I'm always careful and and, and put a tight uh, stop sure. you know, when I've shorted it. But it, it just seems every time this pops. The next few days after, especially if oil is going to be coming back down, this thing this thing comes down fast and furious. And you know what's so cool is that what happens, folks, is this: it, all these different equities have different person. Well, they don't all have personalities, but what Kevin's talking about, this stock does. And I, I've seen it, Kevin. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. It's a real personality on this stock, man. Yeah. 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 Because it goes up just as fast too. Uh, you know, and I guess that's because of the short interest. I mean, you know. Um, but bottom line is that, yeah, you know, I, w I would think that, uh, let me just look at Chevron for a second. And not that CV. Yeah, so Chevron's up on light volume. Exxon Mobil caught a bid. Yeah, Exxon has something. Well, I would just let it go a little bit more. I mean, uh, right. you, you know, that's, either that or you go long it right now and then flip the position, yeah. man, you know? Yeah. We'll keep an eye on the volume, Tom, and we we, Dan, we appreciate all you do, and uh, we, we, we thank you, too. Well, we're sending some good white light and prayers up there. We, ha, good, ha, my friend. Have a great weekend. Yeah, happy Father's Day, man. Make it a yeah, great... Thank you, too, Tom. Make it a great one. I will. The, um, the volumes out here today, folks, you're going to get some big volumes. So if we go into the SPY first, right now we're, we're at uh, 96 million in the SPY. Uh, yesterday we did 149 million. Um, you know, you're going to see this volume pour in at the end of the day in a big way because of what you're going to have. So on quad witching, folks, what ends up happening is you get, you get big volume at the beginning of the day and monster volume at the end of the day. Uh, the queues have a big problem. The, que the queues are already below the lows that were established out here yesterday. Well, they're right at them, $106.50. We have hit 106.24. You're at 106.52. Um, that looks like it's going to slice and dice the last swing lows that were out here on May um, 19th. That's the way that's kind of set up. And when you actually go inside the NDX, you know, when you first bring this up, it's what it is, you know, you, you have, you know, enough stocks down uh, three, four percent. But what it is, it's the amount of equities that, that are down. And of course, Google is pushing into that. Um, you know, Microsoft 
right now is only down 21 cents. That's not pushing into it. Um, you know, Apple, of course, is pushing into that uh, in, in, a, in a huge way. Uh, but coming into this close, you can expect uh, not only big action, um, I suspect what you're going to see is uh, something that's very fast and furious uh, as we get into uh, lower prices out here. Let's go into the XAU and the HUI inside the uh, metals market. So what you have is the XAU right now is up 89 cents. You're at $90.76. Um, what you're going to see is that we're going to be closing almost at the highs, folks, okay? The, the last high up here was $93.66, um, and the XAU is actually going to be pushing on these highs with more volume. So if you happen to be in that metal market, uh, you are pushing a swing high with volume, and more than likely what you're going to set up is a monster uh, ABC structure on the way up. That's in the XAU. And the Gold Bugs Index, the HUI, that very well may close. No, it's not going to close over it, but you're going to have the same type of setup. Um, uh, let's see, the, the Gold Bugs Index. 146 million. Oh, yeah. So check this out. The Gold Bugs Index, I think they're both going to have more volume. Um, the, the high that we're talking about is uh, $236.23. And uh, we're 227 63 You're pushing into that high and you're pushing in with volume. And in both cases, you're talking about a monster ABC up. The A point on this is 99. Your B is uh, 236. So you're talking about. Uh, 135.8 a to b which would uh, end up getting you uh what uh, 294 325 <laughs> and we're at 227 you know yeah it's a longer term deal but guess what um that's where this baby wants to go if we go over and we take a look at the gld what you're going to see inside the gld is that right now we're at 123 dollars and 70 cents Let's put this on a weekly. And this, uh, so the last swing high in the GLD had 56 million shares. We're taking that apart with 77 already. You know, this is a, this is a nice setup. Um, you can make the case here that uh, you get uh, 100, you get a 23.8 to B. Uh, which gives you uh, a 140 inside the, the GLD, you know. Bottom line, cheap money, folks. Hard assets, hard assets are going up. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials are down 50. Nasdaq's off 45. S&Ps are off 8.5. Gold's flat. Silver's down 16 cents. We're going to be right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email TigerFund at TFNN.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the TFNN.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to uh, Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey. hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Cool, man. Hey, I wanted to touch bases again on I looked at you, uh, I chatted you the other day about MUX. Okay. Um, it went up, uh, I don't know, if the, today I'm getting a little skeptical. It kind of was uh, down when gold is up. It went up and hit that 373 area, then kind of uh, came down. Let's see what you think. Let's take a look. So you get MUX, folks, is, which is uh, McEwen Mining. The low uh, for the year is 64 cents. The high is uh, 376. And the volatility, and, you know, <laughs> Uh, this has been a rocket ship number one, and, um, you know, bottom line is that uh, you have a high-volume spike from yesterday. Let me pull this back a bit. Okay, so look at that. Interesting, man. Okay, so what we have is this. We have a high—we had, we had a high-volume swing that 372. That goes back to March of 2014. And what does it do? It comes back in 376, 372. That's awesome. Okay, so so it tests that, and it tests it with even more volume. So that is saying that's not done. <laughs> okay. You know. Now that being said, you know the bottom line is that you know he, this is, you know can it pull back to 278? Yeah, in a heartbeat. You know. Okay. Well, what's your goal? Tell me what what you're thinking here. Well, I, I'm getting. I mean, the volume's crazy. I mean, this, the, the volume that's coming in this is crazy. I'm in at two bucks, and I got some. Uh, I got some stock. I got some calls. I got uh, a bunch, bunch of stuff on it. So okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'll ride it out. If, you know, but if I, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna have a hard time getting over that 375 level. Yeah. Um, See what what what, what, we're, what we're talking about here, folks. This is this is really a tough one, and and there's and Vista Gold is a tough one out here too because they both went up like a rocket ship. They look like they want to go up more, and what happens, and when I say a tough one, you're going to take some heavy volatility, you know, because of the way they trade. Um, 372. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. So on a monthly, I see 372 had 111 million. We're at 59 million. And what is it, the 17th, the 16th? Okay. You know, you got to be a little bit careful here. Okay. When I just put this on a monthly, right, this is what you have happening. Now, this is what the difference is on this one. You put this on a monthly, you're going to see um, you're coming into a huge amount of congestion here. You know, so I would, you get that little pop to uh, even the 370 again, I'd peel some of the stuff off, man. Okay. You yeah. think it'll get back up there? You think it'll retest that? I think it will because I think what you have is that the you know this run here is is not done. It would be nice to see this actually reject you know price as we come into the close. It doesn't seem like it wants to do that, um, but I don't think we'll get under 306. 
But the next time it does make a run into that, I'd move some of those calls out. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, sounds good, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Thanks. Have a safe one. You too. And uh, if we go take a look at the the market as we uh, uh, come up into this close, what you're going to see is that uh, the E minis. We go over, take a look at this E mini here. Let's see. So we're at 2062 on the on the E minis. Pull us back. Yeah, more than likely we're, we're going to 2056 is game. You know, that's only uh, five points lower than where we are right now. It's not, it's, it's, there's, there's not a lot, of, I, I can't, there's not going to be buys. I don't see buys coming into this close out here today. Uh, the composite, the, uh, if we go into the NQs and we take a look at the NQs, the NASDAQ itself is saying that it wants lower price. Now, the NASDAQ coming into the close, I can see this thing getting some real juice because uh, people that are in NASDAQ stocks, <laughs> uh, this, is at, this was at uh, 11 o'clock this morning at, at the lows. You know, the, the lows that we're talking about uh, was 43.54. Right now you're at 43.63. But uh, realistically, I can see that selling off coming into the close. Because what you want to remember is this, is that the, the whole volatility deal in all world markets, folks, okay, stops right now in our market stops. Nothing is going to be opened until 6.30 on Sunday night. Uh, but what I expect you're going to see by 6.30 on Sunday night, uh, the volatility is going to be out here. You know, if we go over to the Nikkei uh, and just take a look at the Nikkei in Japan, what you're going to see, the Nikkei in Japan is right next to its October swing lows. You know, we're at 15,599. That 15,400 is the beginning of the high of that February low. And if that baby just even gets into that, on Sunday night, then there's going to be monster trouble because you know the the Nikkei folks, it's not yeah well it's down 25 percent that's that's a big number you know and that's it's down 25 percent from last year to this year you know it's had some decent bounces but it looks like it wants to go after you know these lower prices and uh, you get, if you get the Nikkei uh, breaking down you, what you're going to have is that you're going to have Australia follow it you're going to have the European markets follow it. Uh, you're going to have metals go higher because this this yen. They're trying. They're tr what they're trying to do, and this is where the you know you hear this plenty of times that the, the central banks are just out of control. Well, no, they're yeah, they don't. They're not purposely out of control, uh, but they've lost uh, their power, and the, the power is to move markets around, and you know the. Japanese central bank has been trying to uh, weaken its yen for a huge amount of time. Well, guess what? It's not working. And every time that the yen gets stronger, meaning goes down on price, as it's getting stronger, it is hard, harder for that whole industrial empire to make any money. And that's a problem. Uh, why is that a problem? Because Japan was the beginning of negative rates. You know, Japan's been in negative rates for a long period of time. In fact, if you want to see something that is over the top, it is Japan. And watch this. This is crazy, folks, okay? Let me see this for a second. Japan, on a 30-year note, 30 years, you can lend money to the government of Japan, and 30 years, you're going to get two-tenths of 1%. Yeah, that, yesterday that went down to 13 one-hundredths of 1%. 1 That's the type of environment we're in. And when you're in that type of environment, what does it mean? Well, Larry Summers' theory is this, and I, I kind of like this theory, I, is that it's an older population. That older population is saving more money and is less productive so that there's less risk that is taking place. And what has happened is that that structure has gone from the Japan over to Europe. And now what you have in Europe is that the same type of situation is taking place, okay? That people are holding cash, they are less productive, and that area, so, so when you take Japan and we just take Europe, I don't think that we have that problem in the United States, but watch how this works. 
All that money just gets put to use, and that's a supply and demand issue for our own bonds, because when there's more money chasing less bonds, what does it do? Prices go down. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back uh, for these, this close, and you can expect a uh, little lower prices and this volume to come in. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The uh, Dow right now is uh, down 55. Dasdaq's off 46. S&Ps are off 8.5. And, and if you do, if you would like to test uh, any of my newsletters, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, if you want to test drive the Gold Report, you go to newsletters. You go to investment newsletters. You can test drive the Gold Report one month, absolutely free. If you'd like to test drive the my daily newsletter, which is Market Insights, you go to newsletters. You go to trading newsletters. You can test drive that two weeks uh, absolutely free. We take a look at the markets out here, and what you're going to have is this. And, uh, you know, you talk about, uh, this is, This is always gets interesting, because, you, you know, you've heard this many times. You talk about um, how coming into closes that you can paint a tape, okay? That's a whole Jesse Livermore deal. Well, guess what? It's very unusual that they paint the tape with gold going up, but that's exactly what you have happening out here right now. So the gold contract, folks, okay? Now, if you're a, if you're a bull, this is a beautiful thing because they're painting this thing uh, that what's going to happen is that it's going to close 
over the um, uh, right at the highs of May. Uh, we just went from a uh, 1295 here at 1302 right now, and you get and, and they get juice going into it. Uh, so that is going to be uh, <laughs> quite a deal. So the, so so check it out. So the high that was established in May, which we are going after, okay, that high. Uh, well, the close that of the last close, the last high close, okay, was twelve hundred and ninety-eight dollars and ten cents. We're going to close higher than that, folks. Okay, so you get a higher close with the art of time in the trade. We get the volume. We get it all going with us. That's the bottom line. So, bottom line, uh, that tells me we want higher price. And the way that the gold contract did trade yesterday, meaning comes all the way back down. That's about uh, as deviant as you can get. And you know. If you're listening yesterday, I actually like that. Why? Because what, happen, what has happened, folks, from this whole run from January going all the way up, no one actually still believes it, which is just so cool. Because what happens is that until you see gold and silver everywhere, bottom line, that's when you can continue to go higher. Why? Because what ends up happening is that folks don't believe it, folks sell into it, all of the above. Uh, I suspect we're going to get there when gold's at about uh, 1428. And the reason uh, is that at that particular level, people are going to say, oh my God, you know, yeah, well, guess what? At 1428, we'll be selling it to you. Um, and it has to do with these bonds. The bottom line, it has to do with these bonds. You know, when you get, when you get money that costs nothing and you have a hard asset, it's just at some point that all that money is going to, going to be going after hard assets. It just, it just, that's just the way it goes, folks. And uh, you know, we'll see where the uh, rest of this uh, market does want to go. Uh, at this particular point, the banks want downtown. Uh, the XLE is going to be a, a close one. You know, uh, the XLE, uh, you know, came down. We came down with some volume. Uh, it's up today with light volume. But that also looks like it's going to. Uh, basically come down, but it would have to reject lower, higher price right now. That higher price it has to reject is the uh, $66.75, which it has not rejected that level yet. If we take a look at some of the volumes as we do come into this close, it's going to be monster volume, folks. Um, and that is another confirmation that we're going south. Right now, we still got three minutes, and they'll put another two or three hundred million shares. We're already over one billion shares on the NYSE. Um, when, you, when we go into the NASDAQ composite, we're at 1.879, so the composite's going to come in with about 2.4 billion, and the NYSE is going to come in with about 1.2 billion, and what you're going to have here is that you're going to have lower prices um, across all the indices with volume. Uh, you take a look at these, you put these on a weekly basis, you're going to see um, that there's some destruction, you know, not a huge price destruction this week, but it's subtle enough, and that's bear market action. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever your focus on grows. Whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it, step into it, take ownership of it, fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking right back here Monday morning. Wow! Go get them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.